Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Explorer. I'm here with my wife, Andrea. Hello. And we are just outside of Montreal, Quebec, and we're at Starbucks. We just got our province of Quebec Starbucks mug. That's a beauty. And we are heading into Montreal today. We're gonna go explore Old Town. We're gonna go on the big wheel, the kind of like a Ferris wheel. Le Grand Rue de Montreal. Le Grand Rue de Montreal. It's gonna be a ton of fun. We're also gonna see what else we can find in Montreal. So check it out. So we are headed into downtown Montreal. We picked out some parking lots online that have easy access to Old Town and downtown. So we're hoping we can find one of those so we don't have to walk quite that far. Also, parking was $20 for the whole day. We're here on a Sunday, so keep that in mind. It was $20 Canadian for the whole day of parking right in this area, right where you want to be. So the first thing that we've stumbled across on Notre Dame Street is the Chateau Ramsey Museum. And here we can see historical figures reenacting events from New France. Pretty amazing. Now we're not gonna go into the museum, but right behind the museum is a free garden that you can come check out if you love gardening. Come check this out, take some photos right here. Across Notre Dame Street from the museum, you will find the historical landmark, Valkalen Place, as well as the Hotel de Ville or the City Hall of Montreal. Gorgeous building. You can even make your way up the steps and take some photos up here. Make sure to stop in here and check it out. I feel like we're getting our bearings now. Yeah, we stopped in at the visitor center there and got a whole bunch of information. So if you're here, make sure you mm -hmm. stop in there. It was very useful, very friendly in there. English and French. Yes. Across from the city hall on Place Jacques Cartier, you will find the information center. It's right where that blue question mark is. Also, if you like to ride bikes, this is very convenient down here. They have bike rentals, 50 cents to start and 10 cents a minute for regular bikes, 25 cents a minute for electric bikes. How convenient is that? You'll find also lots of art and great architecture down here in Montreal. There are a lot of cool buildings and a lot of them will have little plaques on them that'll tell you the historical significance to the city. And of course, Notre Dame Basilica. away from the Notre Dame Basilica you will find a little square here placed to arms where there's monuments and even some nice benches if you just want to stop and enjoy the views and the scenery. Hi love. Hello. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi love. So we are on the hunt for the Crew Cafe. Apparently, this is the place to stop if you are here in Montreal. Now the Crew Cafe is built inside an old building from the 1920s that was actually a bank built for the Royal Bank of Canada. Now inside, we're gonna see marble floors, walls that are made of limestone and sandstone, and fancy coffered ceilings and elegant chandeliers. This building is something else. They host weddings here, business conferences, and they also have this cute coffee shop. By the look of the lineup, it must be pretty good. Wow. I would definitely, if you are coming here, even if you don't want coffee, just stop in and take a look at the architecture. The other building we're looking for is the Montreal World Trade Center. When you come inside, there's a beautiful courtyard that features fountains as well as a piece of the Berlin Wall. The 
beautiful infinity fountain. Now the Berlin Wall, this piece caught me off guard and made me emotional. I remember when the Berlin Wall came down, I was a child, I didn't understand what was happening. But now as an adult to stand here and realize this wall kept families and friends separated, uh, it was really powerful and significant. Now being a hockey fan, I talked Andrea into walking all the way down to the Bell Center. This is the home of the Montreal Canadiens franchise in the NHL. Now they do have a plaza here which features different statues and monuments. You can see different things like the year by year record, the history of the Montreal Canadiens, who won different trophies, Guy Lafleur, John Beliveau, etc. As well as you can see the players throughout history here on this monument. They've also got different statues, Maurice the Rocket Richard, you've got John Beliveau, and of course Guy Lafleur. Now this is a really cool place to take a selfie or some photos if you are a hockey fan. So that was really cool visiting the Bell Centre here in Montreal. If you are a hockey fan or a Montreal Canadiens fan, they've got all sorts of cool things to look at. The statues, Guy Lafleur, Rocket Richard. It's about a 20 minute walk, 15 minutes maybe from the World Trade Centre here in Montreal. A couple quick things I want to mention about Montreal. You're going to find lots of different art, sculptures and monuments out here. This is the Oasis. This is located at Square Victoria. The other cool thing about Montreal, because it gets cold here and snowy in the winter, they have something called the Rezo, R-E-S-O, or the Underground City. You'll see it here on the Metro sign. And it links a lot of the buildings, shopping malls all over Montreal. And a lot of them are located in the same locations as the Metro. Let's go check them out, some of these tunnels. They'll probably be pretty quiet just because it's summertime, but in the winter, people use these to transport all around town. Now I have read out that there's 32 kilometers of tunnel through here. So you could get lost. You can definitely get lost. There's There are some signs, but looking at the map here, it looks a little bit overwhelming. I have heard, again, if you are a true Montrealer, if you can use the underground city. Now we're gonna go check out Rue St. Paul here, kind of the main street that goes through Old Town. It goes back to where we kind of started out by the information building. There's lots of beautiful buildings. I love that fire escape there. Andrea pointed that out to me. And there's coffee shops, little pastry shops all over the place, and even the petite duck shop. Now, if you're into cruising, you might have heard of cruising ducks. So some people are really into their ducks. Yes, people buy ducks and they hide them on cruise ships. It's called the cruising ducks. And if you are one of those people, this um, store is would put you into your glory because they had every kind of a duck you could imagine in here. And um, yeah, if you are down here, even if you aren't into ducks, it's a fun place to come check out down here in the basement of this building. If you are wanting to visit the duck store, it's located at the corner of St. Paul and Marie Marin, right down there in the basement of this beautiful building. We will continue down St. Paul into the heart of old Montreal. Here you've got the cobblestone streets and on the left, one of our favorites, the Keg Steakhouse, as well as they have beaver tails, which are delicious. You may have seen these in our Banff vlog. And Quebec is also known for poutine. And here is the Montreal poutine if you're wanting to get a bite. Hey, it's those guys from the museum this morning making their way down the street. Now, we've made it back to Place Jacques Cartier. We're right by the information building here. And this street gets shut down and vendors open up here. And you can buy all sorts of cool stuff down here from the different vendors, but we are on the hunt for some ice cream. It is extremely hot out here in Montreal today. So we're gonna go to La Cremiere, I think that's what it's called, and get some ice cream. It looks so good on a hot day. So this is perfect for enjoying in the middle of this heat wave that we're having here in Montreal. It's really hot and we got a hurricane. I got an extra large Nutella crunchy. It's very good. The ice cream's nice and it's cold. 
Mine is Rolo, Smarty, and Waffle Cone. Mm. So we made it down to the old port of Montreal, La Grande Rue de Montreal is behind us. We're excited to go try it out. This is the old port of Montreal, but it doesn't feel old. It feels much more like a fair. You've got food trucks and vendors and shopping and attractions to do. It is an exciting place. Yeah, you can get your smoked meat at the food truck here. There's different sandwiches, ice creams, all sorts of cool stuff down here. We even saw some people putting on performances down here that were free. You can do excursions here on boats from this point. There's vendors down here as well. And different things like high rope courses. If you like that kind of stuff, your kids will love it. You can see these daring kids up there doing the high ropes courses and zip lining. There's the La Grande Rue de Montreal. We are gonna go on that shortly, but very fair-like down here. And the SOS Labyrinth Maze. What an amazing place to hang out for the afternoon or for the full day here on Montreal's waterfront. Now, La Grande Rue de Montreal is the tall wheel here. It is 60 meters high or 20 stories and it's open year round. We'll go on that in a moment. Before we check that out though, let's look at some of their food options. You can get yourself a drink down here, some lemonade, or you can enter the cafe and get yourself a coffee, maybe some pastries. But if you're more hungry than that, you can go into the bistro, get yourself a sandwich or something a little bit larger. They also have beverages here that you are allowed to take on the wheel. Now, the one cool thing is that one of these cards does have a glass bottom on it. I think you can see it at the top there. Now, if you are interested in going on La Grande Rue de Montreal, I will put a link below in the description so you can find more information on the wheel as well as booking this experience. We are on the La Grande Rue de Montreal. How was that? Did I say it right? Pretty close. <laughs> there is a nice air conditioned breeze coming out of there. The doors are closing. And I was worried that it would be too hot in here, that the air conditioning wouldn't be strong enough, but it's good. It's good. It's like the hottest day of the year here in Montreal. So yesterday broke the records. For August. For August ever. Yeah. Here we go. Check out the views of the St. Lawrence. This is really cool. We've gone around one full loop. They're letting a few other people off now. Then we'll go around another time. So um, it really is quite high up there. You get a lot of great views of the city of Montreal from up there. What a scenic place to see Montreal. Amazing. That'd be fun to do those paddle boats. current is crazy over there in the St. Lawrence behind that boat. And don't forget to bring your camera. Well, that was a ton of fun on La Grande Rue de Montreal. I think we're gonna head out of the downtown or Old Town area and go see Mount Royal, which is a great viewpoint apparently of Montreal. So we're gonna go check that out right now. We're done here in downtown Montreal. So we took a quick detour on our way to Mount Royal. This is Red Path Crescent, beautiful homes overlooking Montreal. What do you think these houses cost, Andrea? For maybe $5 million? Uh, no, one became famous last year for selling for 
20 million dollars. 20 million dollars. Uh, please like and subscribe to help us move to Red Path Crescent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can like and subscribe and help us move to Red Path Crescent. No, I don't actually want to move here, but it's gorgeous. If I had to live here in Montreal, this would probably be the place to live, but I don't have 20 million dollars. On our way to Mount Royal, beautiful drive up the mountain to this park where you can access the lookout. So the parking here at Mount Royal was $3.50 an hour. So you can pay that at the machine there and you can walk up this little road to check out the views. So we couldn't see any of the views while we were hiking up here, but once you get onto this path, it opens up and you can see all of Montreal, all the way to the St. Lawrence River there. It was absolutely amazing and beautiful. Yes, gorgeous out here today. Great views of Montreal from up there. It's about a 10 minute walk from the parking lot. So budget accordingly with how much parking you buy. So hope you did enjoy visiting Montreal, Quebec with us. We had a great time visiting Old Town, La Grande Rue to Montreal. It was a ton of fun. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with us on social media. We would love to hear from you. All the links are below in the description. We are on to Ottawa, Ontario. So until next time, take care.